Welcome back everyone to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and right now, we've got a little bit of a problem in France. Um, yeah, this isn't looking too good, especially the 132,000 militant socialists in, uh, Orléans. Uh, but I decided, you know what, screw it. Let's go to war with China. I already did, I completed the war barely off screen, in which, well, the Chinese are still in Jiangxing, and as you can tell, we're not looking too good over here either, which is not very good. But regardless, I wanted to share with you what we're going to do with the treaty port, just because we could. I still want to take Manchuria, but regardless, what we're going to choose, let's see, do we want this province? Silk, that's 100,000 people is not bad, actually. Um, let's take a look. Did that change anything? Oh, wait, hi oh, the UK took Hainan. God dang it, maybe I should have chosen Hainan. I didn't realize the UK took even more. Oh god, the game is lagging, as you can tell. Uh, so we get to get that one down there. I kind of want just Shanghai, because... You know, it's nice to get some tea, which would be pretty good. And the borders are other province. And 120,000 people, let's go and grab some Shanghai. And we'll read the event as well. For centuries, the major administrative shipping and trading town Shanghai grew in importance in the 19th century due to European recognition of its favorable port location and economic potential. This potential can be fully realized under French administration, which is very, very good for us. And thank you for that port. Right now, we can get rid of the draft, but I think we're kind of okay. Even though I'd still like to do some more social reforms, which we should be able to do soon, in which people really, really want some sort of trinket minimum wage, but we'll probably end up becoming socialist before too long, which is not very good for us because I don't like pacifism. Alright, everyone, and here we're at, and now we're socialist. Isn't that great? The possibilities. Possibilities. It's 1863, of course, March 23rd, and well, this isn't great. I don't want to be socialist. If there was a different socialist party, I might be okay with it. Oh, there's Republican Modore. Oh, pro Ooh, I kind of like these guys, even though they're only interventionist. Now, it could be a lot worse for possibilities, which hurts, which absolutely hurts our um, uh, ability to wage war, because now we can only go up to 40% military spending. Oh, that hurts. Oh, we can tax the crap out of all the poor people, though. And we have minimum sp social spending. Oh, oh. Oh, that's not good. But hey, the good thing about the Socialist Party is that they like. Well, they, they, they have limited citizenship, which is okay. I kind of prefer full citizenship. Uh, religious policy, I don't really care about too much. Uh, but they do have state capitalism, so we can directly intervene into the economy if we need to, which isn't too bad. And like Jingo, uh, not Jingoism, but they like protectionism, which allows me to tax the crap out of the people while using tariffs. Ah, I love it. And the full welfare state, I don't really like too much. But this is interesting. Pas uh, pacifism gives you minus 0 0.01 infamy, which I kind of like. But we have a couple comments to go through as well. Which pacifism might actually help us out. So, uh, someone recommends we play as Austria after this, which we'll see. I mean, I need I need definite breaks between Victoria 2 campaigns, so we'll see what happens. How do I have this much infamy? Usually, when I start saves coming, when we get to like one, two, or even three infamy points, I'm like, you know what, we got hit, whatever, I don't really care, and it just builds up over time. Sometimes some of these decisions or events gives you infamy as well, so I'm like, eh, whatever. So, that's how come we have so much infamy. I, I'm going to try to lower it more and more, especially since we once when we hit the 70s, 80s, 90s, and the early 1900s. So we'll have less, fewer, fewer wars while we focus on our economy and just our industry for the most part. Other comments. Uh, I asked you guys yesterday how to get more money. And basically, some of you guys said you get war reps with China, which we saw just a little bit earlier. So we've got all of these places. And the war reps, we get about 800, almost 900 pounds from China for now. Which would be very, very nice. Oh, look. Thank you, China. Thanks for leaving my land. And we're going to put these guys in Shanghai because I want to build up more divisions or brigades or whatever. Ah, I love it. I love it. Uh, let's see. Also, research. Oh, more tax efficiency. And we're doing breach-loaded rifles as well right now. More tax efficiency, which we've done one with business, business banks. You also guys also recommended research more farming and, and uh, industrial stuff. So farming output. Just, just more production output. For the most part, it'll help out. I do need to get some chemical uh, and organic chemistry as well. And cut naval spending. Usually you don't have to spend that much on the Navy. Yeah, we really don't need to. I Maybe after like a war, after like some of our ships have been damaged and stuff. But actually, where is my fleet? Oh, they're over here. Uh, that's right. We just saw them too. And the Mediterranean fleet is still over here. Ooh. How about we go home? Anyways. And let's see. Someone recommended with these army techs that I should focus more on the left two sides. So we can fight great powers. Uh, yeah. I've, I've heard actually that the right side of the army tech 
is more important because you get more morale and more military tactics, which, you can be, which are very, very important. But yeah, definitely getting a bit better digging cap would be really, really good. And more defense, obviously, that's really important. And I'm doing breach loaded rifles, which, with us being a pacifism, I'm going to put a lot more emphasis on the military for now. A little bit on naval stuff, especially getting larger naval bases. Because that, because you know, colonizing, which happened in the 80s and 90s, I always thought it was 1870s, but 18. 80s and 1890s for that so we'll go with this and we'll probably do some of this as well just so we can get some uh, you know dreadnoughts because those are just so good i probably won't do too much business regulations maybe we will maybe we won't we'll see what happens we'll try to do as much as we can and we have an event now of course uh i could go to two-year conscription but uh you know what we might as well i don't want to have i don't want to have my immigration status hit too hard actually are we losing anybody no we don't really know well, let's let's take a look let's take a real quick look there we go. Well, not, nothing's really going on. Oh, we got some immigrants from the Ottoman Empire, but whatever. I just basically, I think I just loaded up the game again just because it's a new day. But anyways, uh, what do we have? Rename Bourbon Island. The French Indian Ocean Territory is known for the several names. Reunion Island, Bourbon Island, Bonaparte Island. But now it's time to give it a more appropriate name. One more in the line of the current French government. Get prestige and rename to Reunion. Which I learned about when I was in high school. We took French. Oh, we could sign the Geneva Convention. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. More infamy, not really cool. But that's all right. Hopefully, America. Oh, and uh, we'll talk about America just a little bit. We have a lot more officially recognized. Hello. Hey, we get some more prestige actually, and the U.S. will lose some prestige. Uh, yeah. There's currently some war, and this is actually looking like a pretty normal Confederacy. Uh, was was Oklahoma in the Confederacy? I don't think they were, but I, what else are they going to do, you know? They're slaves, they still. Uh, Sony plays a CSA eventually, which will be a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah. I kind of wish that they could split up, like, these states a little bit more. Because you might be able to get the little boot in Missouri in the CSA. But, you know, it is what it is. And we're, the CSA is probably going to lose, but, oh well. And here we are, everyone. It's September 14th, 1864. I've already gone to war with Columbia because... Well, because we can, and I'm fighting to get to Cauca, and then eventually I want to go through Ecuador and then get down to Peru, because apparently this tile here, at the last time I checked one of the special maps that's online, like on the Reddit, it tells you eventually what type of valuable resources or precious materials the game will have. I believe it's Pira that will eventually have something good, I think? That's why I earlier on took out the Barranquilla, and actually Maracaibo is actually supposed to be pretty good as well, at least according to the map. But that's why I'm taking out some of these more valuable resources. Um, Veracruz is also very good to take. Uh, yeah, Veracruz, Veracruz, Veracruz. We're also more of the Russians because, well, <sighs> we have the Crimean War, in which the Russians want to cut down the Ottoman Empire to size, and it's me, the Brits, and of course the Ottoman allies, who are uh, having a good time with them. So actually, the Ottomans are technically allied to me normally, so which is very weird. And the CSA is dead. So sad. So incredibly sad. But, you know, whatever. Uh, I certainly play as a CSA in Victoria 2 sometimes, so we'll get there someday. Today is definitely not the day. Definitely not. But that's okay. Let's see. Uh, you are French. Made up of French people because you have a French name. That's okay. And we're losing money. So we had an election, actually. Since between now and the last time I saw you guys, so... We went back to Bonapartist. People love Bonapartists, and even though we had a bunch of socialist rebels take us over, I kind of prefer the socialists right now, because as much as we love jingoism and full citizenship, I love state capitalism. Oh my goodness. And the reason why we can't make money is because I can't raise tariffs anymore. Now, we can spend more money on the spending for military but concerns, uh, but it's not very good right now. That's just not very good. I'll cut this down quite a bit. Hopefully that'll help us out a little bit. And we're getting still a lot of money from China, which is great. But I did throw one army over here just in case. Uh, just to see what would happen with these guys. So, are they moving? Oh, boy. Uh, Ardan, huh? Well, we'll see what happens. And I don't mind helping these guys... Oh, hello. Helping these guys out too much. Uh, pretty good. I'm, I'm not expecting too much of a problem here. They have literally no military score, so that's pretty good for us. Uh, we can go ahead and try to siege stuff down, I suppose. That would be okay, especially if we're defending in the mountains. Especially since we're trying to research point defense system. 70% of our population can read. So, all, all in all, not too bad. So, I want you guys to go here first. There you go. Nice. Uh, don't need to worry about this. Come up to here. Uh, never mind. Go over here, perhaps, maybe? Oh, and the Russians are definitely sending in quite a few dudes. And the Turks have thrown in quite a few dudes as well. So, we'll see what happens. Oh boy, there's more Russians showing up. 
Uh oh. Oh, please don't attack. Please don't attack, Turkish dudes. Oh, man. Oh, Futil Jilong grants extraterritoriality. Uh, they have decided to allow foreigners to be tried according to the laws of their native countries. Doubtlessly caused by the pressure from within the circles of the great powers. These are good news, nevertheless. Great. Oh, boy. Oh, they're attacking us, but we are defending in mountains. Oh, minus two. Oh, minus three. Oh, minus one. And a good dice roll. Wow, we need horses on our guys. Hey, we just killed 30,000 Russians. Hey, very nice. I just kind of want to peace out. I don't want to deal with the Russians, I'll be honest, man. Don't really want to deal with them. Cool. Uh, let's not spread ourselves too thinly or too thickly. Just because I don't like it. Oh my gosh, attrition's bad. Oh, we don't have horses on these guys. Anyways, oh, we got six things of artillery. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. I don't have that many armies to spare. Seeing as they cost money and we don't have a lot of money right now. So, yeah. Uh, I was trying to build up some more armies, too. We need two more... Ar well, technically, one artillery. Because we can get some... Oh, oh get some, grab some guards, I guess. Uh, I'll get that. So we have one infantry. We got that. Um, let's see. I don't want to use that much infantry... So we're trying to get let's see one infantry. So three infantry and one horse. Man, do we have any minorities here to use instead? Can I say that? Hmm. Whatever. It's two infantry, right? I I'm sorry, I can't even remember now. Three infantry. Three infantry. Well, hold on. Three infantry. We need one more infantry. And we currently have three cannons. So boom, boom. Okay, that's good. Yeah, technically, we needed two and then another horsey. What is this? Oh, that's... I, I keep forgetting that this... When it looks like this, that's because it's a naval rally point, I think. If I remember correctly. Horsey. Yep, I was correct. Awesome. How are we doing down here? We should be doing relatively great. Even though attacking the mountains is a terrible, terrible idea. We're still going to do because they're pretty weak. There's only 3,000 of them, so... Oh, nice. I love it. I'm going to keep an extra army down here just in case. You never know if you could use a spare one. Ooh, you're not looking great. Coming to Panama City... Do we have any more other generals or people? Yes, we can use and abuse their own soldiers down here. Uh, I'm going to maybe make two infantry so I can send some of the infantry back home and not have to kill off my own French people. Um, They're not accepted cultures, but I'll take them. Nice. So that's the case. We've got... Let's see, da, da, da. Thank you. Cool. Alrighty, righty What's next? America, please take, go to war with Mexico and take... Or buy the Mexican stuff, please. Uh, Germany, we hate you, Germany. UK, you actually kind of like each other. Would you like an alliance? No, god dang it. What's going on over here? Oh, we're doing all right. Please, don't attack them. Please don't attack them. Better pay their debts from here on out. Uh, a lot of conservative party support was gone. Whatever. I think I did another four, maybe. I might have done, yeah, one year draft, just because people want, kind of wanted it. Also, let you know, we are currently what? We are currently a republic. There's no monarchy here. Not yet. Uh, not bad, though. Political reform desire. I prefer social reform desire. It seems like a lot more fun. Please don't attack. Please don't die here. Hey, why are you attacking into the mountains? Oh, I want to join, but it does just not look good. No draft. Ooh. Well, we'll do it anyways. Why not? Yeah. Oh, I could... They don't need us, right? They don't, if, uh, they don't need us. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh, is the war over? Treaty Paris. Hold on. Let's see what happens. What? Ha what, what hold on. Let's, let's come down here. Status quo, very cool, and we have the Treaty of Paris. That's interesting. With the Russian having failed to assert their authority over the Turks, it's time for the powers of Europe to convene in Paris and settle the matter as best we can. Ooh, we get 23 prestige. Ooh, well, Austria becomes Romania. Transylvania loses core on Boar. Influence of the Ottoman Empire changed by minus 100. We end our alliance. Ooh, and I'm still not... Ooh. Oh, hello. Violet and Swiss neutrality, eh? Oh, I want to do that badly. Oh, wait, do you still have sleep? Hold on. Oh, we need the Siemens marching process. They did outlaw slavery. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, wow. You won the Civil War and you still didn't get rid of slavery, eh, America? Wow. Some might say slavery still exists in the States today, but that's a conversation not going to be held on this channel. Uh, let's see. Luxembourg. Yeah, we might as well. Um, up next for us, I kind of just want to cut down inf infamy for now. We'll see what happens, you know, just because I, I definitely want to lower influence or my infamy, even though I, I should have waited to go to war with these guys, because them owning Zealand and they're literally not even connected, it's just so garbage. 
So god awfully garbage. And here we are, my friends. Time to go to war with Calabar. Why to go to war with Calabar? Because we can, and I like a little bit more of an African presence, just for now. Now, we don't have full strength on our soldiers, but hey, that doesn't matter to me, as long as we're going to do okay. That's all I really care about. After this, is there anyone else I really want to go? I mean, I want to take out the Dutch, but that might take some more time. Other than that, we're doing kind of okay on money now, since China's still paying us, but it won't last forever, obviously. Uh, we're doing so well, I stopped taxing the upper class, and as you can see, my money, I've stopped spending so much on construction, the military is doing okay, not great, but they're doing all right. And social spending, we don't believe in that right now. And which, actually, when can we go back to war with China? They have only 23 military score. Oh my goodness, we could go to war with them at 67. So next year, I actually might just go back to war. Ah, yes, yes, they did it. They finally did it. They got some purchase. Actually, China has a bigger score than Mexico. Oh, we won't take anything from them. We have to do that faster. Yeah, I don't know. Guatemala, they're guaranteed by the U.S. Oh, they're in America's sphere, sphere, I should say. Ooh. You know what, I'll, prob I'll probably go to war with Mexico next. Just so they can puppet them. And then maybe Ecuador, we'll see what happens. Ooh, they're allied with... Ooh, actually, I prefer to go to... Ooh, oh, they're in the U.K. sphere. Ah, uh, that sucks. Uh, anyways, back to Africa. Sorry, I just, I just had to think about things. Ooh, flexible firepower. Nope, nice. We're doing some inorganic chemistry. It is 1866, like I said. And the left side of the army stuff is not doing too badly, I would say. Hey, you killed 12,000 people there. Oh, uh, they had these guys as their ally. Benin as well. Em Legions of the Empire of Benin. That sounds actually really, really cool. And hopefully they piece us up, maybe. Oh, supply limit's better. Let's grab some. Nothing there. Uh, railroads, regenerative furnaces. Oh, output would be so nice for some stuff. Oh, we need the Siemens Martin process. Oh, let's do that one. Ah, there we go. We don't have to spend our own dipple points. Very, very nice. Even better, my friends. And right now, since we still have a little bit of money, we're going to do that and have a good old time. Well, here we are, at, everyone. It is now February 1st, 1871. It's been a few years since the last time uh, we, we were really together, but... Uh, the Netherlands has discovered the first international in which, well, we got new political parties too, by the way. Let's take a look. So, the communists are here. Mm, not great. Protectionism's not bad. So, it's 1871. We've, we had a few new parties pop up. We still have the Bonapartiste. We have the Legitimatiste. We still have the Anarcho Liberals. But now, we also have the uh, Republican, the Modore, which I guess would mean moderate Republicans, maybe, perhaps. In which is basically very similar to the Bonapartist party, except instead of free trade, we've got protectionism, which means I can tariff the crap out of our people, which makes them poor, but whatever. We still have interventionism. Uh, let's see, we are actually secularized instead of moralist. Uh, we still have full citizenship, which is great. We're pro-military, which is totally awesome. And we have no official policy for welfare. That's totally okay. We have the Republican Liberal, of course, and then Orialanist, which is okay. And, of course, we have the Socialist Party here, Republican Democratique, uh, which is, you know, as we saw earlier. Okay, uh, let's see. I think I've done some penal systems. We've got acceptable minimum wage. I've gotten low health care. We've got low pensions, of course, a good schooling system. We've got incarceration. I wanted transportation just because it'll increase colonial migration, it says, but we'll see what happens. And I don't mind doing uh, rehabilitation. Not too bad. Other than that, um, in 66 or 67, uh, we had a massive... I We literally had 700 to 800 thousand rebels spawn in France and that's why there's five there's like a five-year difference between the fade and fed up from this time to the previous time where we just you know were together um oh my god I had so many I couldn't do anything about the rebels the Flemish try to rise up against me but I, I I put them down we always put them down which is a good thing but oh my gosh it was insane so I just spent time I, like look at our infamy it, it's gotten lower I was going to go to war with Mexico but they're actually now in America's fear unfortunately and they're allied in America, so we'll see what happens with them. No promises. Let's see. With these guys, we want to throw in one more artillery and one more infantry. Artillery and infantry. Artillery and... I'll give them a guard one out. Cool. So, yeah. It's... It's been a little nutty. Uh, you guys go over there, too. Also, I took out this little section of Morocco. I called my allies, and uh, the Ottoman Empire didn't want to come in, because they're in the... Actually, these guys are in the Ottoman spheres. But, ooh, that looks kind of nice. Um, I want to take out this area just because they have gold. So, our precious goods. I would like to get down here. Actually, this area, Agadir, should have some good stuff. As well as uh, my ally, Spain, took out this stuff. I wanted, to, I kind of wanted to take out Spain earlier and, you know, take the coast. But, with the way things have been going with rebels and such, it's been a mess. Just a gigantic mess. 
Uh, we still have Calabar, which is nice. We, not too much of this has really happened, so... Um, putting some bureaucrats down here, too, because half this area is French, which is actually really, really nice. Oh, Balboa is also a good portion French. Not too many French in Hispaniola, but that's alright. And some of these islands are becoming more and more French. And we'll get to the event very soon. And we will go to war now with the Qing Empire. Oh, Ethiopia is here, though. And you know what? We might just be able to go to war with uh, Ethiopia, too. Hmm. Maybe not a bad idea. Maybe get to Djibouti very quickly. Uh, regardless, we're doing analytic philosophy. Anything else around here? Not too much else. We've got organic chemistry, um, nationalism, imperialism, biologism, which we had before, business regulations. Yeah, not too much else here. But let's go and read the event first while we're still at peace, and then go to war with China. It's been almost 100 years since France and General Lafayette came to the aid of the brave young American Republic at the hour of her birth and most dire need. Since then, the American Republic has served as an inspiration and freedom-loving people everywhere and has stood as a clear and voiceful reminder to the world of the possibilities of human liberty. Some within France's Republican circles have suggested that we celebrate this centennial by presenting to the American people a suitable gift to mark their first 100 years as the free people and the historical bonds of friendship with the French nation. Viva la liberté! Very cool. Nice. As much as we love liberty, it's time to take a quick old pit stop in China, in which I want to have another punitive expedition so we can get some more money. That's really what I want to do. And actually, when we had the rebels, the rebellion, I lost like 100 prestige. It was bad. I lost like 100 military score as well. It was just not good. Oh, my bad words. So these guys aren't looking too good. They should be too developed. So we're going to throw a lot of guys in here to see what happens. Oh, we're slaughtering them. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is kind of nice. Not going to lie. Well, let's see what happens when we beat them up again. We'll see just area down. Hopefully we'll do okay. And something I noticed is that when we go to war, like we do, we make more money. Which is weird because I guess the military industrial complex is alive and well. I doubt we don't have enough score yet. No, we have nine. That's actually wow. We already have nine, huh? Yeah. Doing, who knew that doing more military attacks makes your armies better? Um, we're 17 now. Well, let's see. Can we beat these guys up too? Oh, thousands are dying. Another 3,000 or so. Uh, let's come down there then. Of course, the chi it's China. Oh, look how much money we have. Yeah, I've been... I stopped taxing the... Rich people too. Ooh, let's see. Do this as well. I know it inflates our industry and stuff. If I do this, we're gonna lose all the money. Oh yeah, let's not do that yet. Maybe off screen I will, but we'll see what happens. All right, not too bad. You're still trying to get this area done. Kill that other army. We got 5.8 more war score. China. Nice. Actually, can we do anything here? Not really. I don't want to get any more infamy. I'd rather just save scum for it. Okay, cool. The fourth French. Qing Chinese Treaty. Actually, eventually, I'm just going to take this substate, just because we need more population. We just need more population, man. Qingdao, Wei Hai Wei, a Kuang Chong, Wei Hai Wei, Qingdao. I, I kind of want. Uh, West Shandong is okay. It's not much there though. I think I'm going to go for this one because this is. Well, we got a little bit of a drug problem down there. They do have silk, and silk is pretty nice, and that has the most population out of all of these. Even though these places don't have drug problems, but well, I think we'll take this one. So. Uh, the Kuang Chowan Treaty Port. It means Guangzhou Bay is situated in Guangdong Province, Kuangtung Province, on the east side of the Laizhou Peninsula, north of Hainan. The Bay of Kuang Chowan and the villages and cities in it could provide a good source of income. Right now, the cities are commercially unimportant, but strategically located, so it can be so it can grow to rival the most profitable cities in China. Very cool. Unfortunately, during this time, the UK got involved in Vietnam. God dang it. God dang it. Which I think we'll attack them next. And here we are, my friends, on May 3rd, 1872, in which we are about to already go to war with Bone. Why Bone? Well, because... Why not Bone? Um, I said I want to go to war with Vietnam. I didn't feel like going to war with them eventually. I want to go to war with Ake. But they went, the Dutch went to war with them, so... It is what it is. I'm trying to make more armies here. But it's just slow going. And we're actually making a lot of money because... Well, war indemnities as well as... Tariffs. Ah. <sighs> I love tariffs, except when I have to pay tariffs, but hey, whatever. <sighs> we gotta kill these guys off. So yeah, I'm, I'm a little worried now that, that, that there's a German juggernaut on the on the patrol. And uh, we gotta put down some Germans eventually. So, my goal, we're doing social science. After this, I'm gonna emphasize a lot more military stuff, like deep defense. Definitely go with deep defense, army risk management, machine guns. 
that's going to be extremely important where we're headed. So uh, let's get you over here, actually, so we can help blockade the area, too. Because I want to take these guys out and eat, 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 eat. Yes, break their lines with those evil Dutch folk. Uh, oh, my goodness. But, yep, not looking too bad now. Not great. We're making a lot of money. I love tariffs right now, dude. Like, holy cow. It's very nice. All his money. And I've even maxed out this stuff. We can probably lower this a little bit more. This, we probably don't even need it all the way up. Even though, we might keep it up just a little bit. Just so that we can uh, do okay with that stuff. And I want to go back to World of China again. Just because, I think it's the higher the budget for the military, the higher chance you have more pops to be promoted to them. So, I kind of like that. There you go. Kill them off. And no one wanted to help them out. Alright, not bad. Pretty good. I'm getting at a war goal, but nah. I'm trying to cut down my infamy more and more and more and more, more. Save it for endgame. Especially for the Dutch. Oh, who's these? Oh, the reactionists. And we're still led by the Republican Modere. So, and we're trying to influence Sardinia Piedmont because they're no longer a great power. And the Germans don't want me to be influencing them. I don't like the Germans anymore. The Germans are not very fun. <laughs> yes, cracking. We can get oil, fuel, uh, and synthetic dyes. And that works. Very good. Very nice. I love it. I love it a lot. We have half. Oh, God dang, I love tariffs. Can we boost any more factories up? Yes, we can. Any more projects? Oh, the building railroads. They don't even need us. New French Caledonia and Savoy? Gaslights? Hopefully, from here on out, we'll do relatively okay. And because of all the money issues we've had before, I think I'm just going to at least, at least in my mind, keep a minimum stockpile of, I don't know, 200,000 pounds. That probably is a good idea, just because we're going to end up in some serious wars later on, and they're not going to be a lot of fun. Um, there's really no point to build all these forts, but we'll do it anyways, because we can. Yeah, it's been a, it's, this has been a very, at least for me, you don't see all the rockiness off screen, but like it's been a sort of rocky episode for me here. Um, but at least it's 1873, I can say that, and we're doing okay. Not great, but we're doing okay. We're third of the world, fifth place in military power, which will boost up. Hey, here we go. Love bone. And, oh, we can call it into someone else. Uh, let's see. Supply 74, 74. That's all not really good. Uh, let's do it over. We'll do it over here. Sure, why not? There you go. Boom, 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 boom. And who can we do? Is it worth making this a state? It does free up points. Hey, uh, I'm going to do it just because it frees up points. that will be okay with us. I didn't really... We didn't even invest in this area at all. But regardless, that's going to end today's episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we're going to end up at war with someone else. And we've really got to get a better order defense going with the Dutch as well as the Germans. Because the Germans are scary. Thanks for watching, though. And have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.